my loves welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be doing an unboxing and I'm so excited about this I've never done this type of unboxing here on my channel so pretty much I got a pre-loved item online and it just arrived and we're gonna unbox it together I'm really scared because you know these can be a hit or miss even though I have purchased pre-loved items in the past and I've gotten pretty lucky with them and you know I usually end up liking them. Sometimes I do need to clean them a little bit more um, but it's really not a big deal. So anyways, I placed this order last on Saturday and today is Tuesday. It just arrived like I just got it from the lady um, and yeah, here it is. I'm so excited. It actually came in a big box. And I had already cut it open, so let's just let's just get started. I'm really, really excited about this. I will have all the details and everything down below if you are interested in where I got it and things like that. Um, but yeah, you guys, oh my gosh. I've been wanting this piece for a very long time. I've gone back and forth. And recently I have been using more duffel bags and stuff like that and gotten kind of used to that. Um, when traveling especially like for weekends and stuff so I thought this would be a really good addition to my collection so anyways let's just get into it ah I'm so 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 excited you guys you don't even know oh I see it already I just really hope it is like what it is in the photos okay so it came like this Ooh. so here she is I'm gonna go ahead and grab scissors so it is wrapped pretty well it's like really compact oh my gosh you guys this arrived so quickly too like I said I ordered it like Saturday night y'all and it is Tuesday morning oh Again, this is a pre-loved item, and oh, oh my gosh, oh wow, okay, let me open it. oh wow, okay, Woo. okay, there's not really an odor, but I mean, it doesn't smell that amazing. Oh my gosh, okay, wow, okay, I'm very happy with this piece, yes, oh sorry guys, I'm so quiet, I'm just like, you know, looking it over, making sure it is good, need to make sure it's good, trying to make sure that there's no stains in the inside of the bag, because you never know what picture is online. Okay. Ooh. Oh my god, you guys. It's so nice. Okay, so this is it right here. Oh gosh, I'm not doing a very good job fluffing her up, huh? So this is the bag. This is the Louis Vuitton Keepal Bandolier um, in a size 45. Here's the straps that, come, that came with it. And the straps look pretty good. Now the hardware on this isn't the cleanest, so I'm gonna have to clean all the hardware, but they're not that bad. Like this is this is pretty shiny to me, you know. Um this one right here though has darkened, but I mean as you can see, that can be easily cleaned, so I'm not too worried. And you know, one thing I love about this, like why I really was like, okay, I want that one, is that there's no watermarks really it's just kind of like this nice patina um all throughout it's pretty even and yeah no major watermarks or anything like that um i mean there are some like do you see this right now <laughs> there are some areas that on the bag where it's bound to have or show some wear and i'm okay with that oh my gosh it's so nice and it even came with like the luggage tag and also this um, strap holder so you can keep it together. The inside of this is really clean as well. It's just this brown color and there's no stains whatsoever. 
Again, there's really no odor like mothballs or anything like that. It just, you know, it's vintage. Um, but yeah, it that doesn't bother me. Let me zip this up real quick. Actually, let me stuff. I'll stuff it so can you see. Put a pillow in it so it will be stuffed. So the zipper on it, oh, it doesn't zip that smoothly. I mean, I kind of, oh, that one's fine. This one does not want to zip. What's wrong with you? Oh, it's probably just, yeah, it's not that smooth. That one's not as smooth as this one, which can be easily fixed with wax paper or even lip balm if you have a lip balm or some type of oil yeah very stiff there but I do like the hardware on this because it's not like dull they're still like that shiny gold I just need to clean them a little bit there's some areas where it's like you know has darkened but overall you guys like look at the handles I'm not sure if you can see it okay this is hard to show you right there so but I mean overall it's really good and clean like the handles are so nice yes that's one thing that um, I was always looking for for with key balls. I knew I wanted to purchase it pre love because it's something that's gonna get used a lot and you know this one is already kind of like worn and um, it's already kind of like soft. I don't know if that I'm making sense, but I really had planned on getting this piece pre-loved. Again, this is the 4 to 5 size. I am 5'1", and as you can see, it doesn't look too big. So this is going to be perfect. Um, I heard that you can bring this on planes and stuff like that as carry-ons. So that's what I plan on doing with this. And of course, you know, for like weekend trips and things like that. I'm definitely going to use this for that. Um, it looks really spacious and I'm really excited. Oh, I'm very happy with this. I will be cleaning all the hardware, which I will show you guys at the end of this video how I do that. It's very easy. Um, and quick to do. Um, I'll also show you how I try to smoothen out uh, the zipper. I also purchased Apple Guard Spray. I heard a lot of great things about that product and once that comes in I will be spraying all of the um, vachetta on this bag just to prevent it from getting any water stains in the future. Like I heard that Apple Guard spray is just gonna kind of make it not totally waterproof. Like your vachetta is still gonna darken, like you know usual. But um, yeah, it's just gonna help prevent water stains in the future. Like it won't look as bad or something like that. But anyways, I'm just so happy with this. I was really scared about it, but it looks good, you guys. It looks really, really good. Um, yeah, have no complaints. Nothing. The straps too, like it looks good. It does look a little worn in some areas, but that's bound to happen if you do use it a lot. But overall, this is pretty damn good. Oh my gosh. Like there's no spots where it's like dry or cracking or anything like that really. I'm very happy you guys. I'm so happy with this piece. Um, I've been looking here and there and whenever I do find something in my price range, it always has some type of like watermarks or the patina is way darker or it doesn't have watermarks anywhere but the handles are like completely black which to me is just no. Um, I don't know. I would rather just like spend a little bit more to get what I really really want and you know I don't want to sit here and like scrub up my bag for hours on end you know what I mean so I was like I just really want that perfect piece and finally here she is. I'm so excited I'm probably gonna get um this luggage tag hot stamped in the near future but for now this will do. I forgot to mention this um, Kipal was made in France. I'm pretty sure. The tag says made in France. Yeah. Louboutin made in France and the code 
I believe it's this in the 1990, 1990, I'm not sure. I'll have the code down below. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with this piece. So now I'm actually going to go and clean the hardware on it and I think she'll be perfect. So I'll show you guys how I do that. All right, so I have everything that I would need to clean the hardware here. I have some paper towels, Q-tips, cotton balls, cotton pads, just depends what you want to use. I usually use Q-tips and then sometimes I go into cotton pads, cotton balls and cotton pads. I don't know, this depends. I have a little dish to put this guy in. This is the guy that does magic. <laughs> so barkeeper's friend and yeah, it just says soft cleanser. I don't know, this is just what I already had and it is what I have used in the past and it has worked well. So make sure you shake it. So I'm gonna do this area on the bag and also try and kind of clean this ring right here. Again, a Q-tip with some product on it and get it on the ring. Oops, got it on the bachata. And now I'm just gonna scrub with a cotton pad. This is very difficult to film. I'm not even sure if you guys can see, but. To get a little lighter. Oops. Okay, so it's coming off, but it's getting very hard to take it off though. Okay, I need a paper or towel to put it like underneath so it doesn't get on the bruschetta again just like that I'm not sure if you can see the black is coming off and all the shiny Parts are coming through. Can you see that? So I'm gonna keep working on this and then I'll show you guys what it looks like after. Okay, so it's been probably like 20 minutes. It's a little wet there, but it'll dry. Um, so this is what the ring looks like now. Pretty shiny, right? And compared to the other one that I haven't done yet, right there, you can see the difference between the two. So that's that. It just takes a little bit of a scrubbing and time, but I like it. I like the shiny better. So if you compare, this is the gold. So as you can see, it's not as gold, but... I think it's better than this one, you know, when it's just a little dirty or blackened, darkened, whatever it's called. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and keep working on it and then I'll show you guys again um, what it looks like. So this is the zipper that I just did. I stopped halfway, but you can see it's pretty shiny already. And this is the other side of the zipper that I have not done. This is not clean. As you can see, it's darker. And how I do this, I'll show you guys. I think I stopped right there. Okay, so I just take a paper towel, place it, you know, right there. Take a Q-tip. So I just take a paper towel, place it right there. I've already done this right here. We're going to do this side. As you can see, it is darker. I'm going to take the Q-tip, dip it a little bit in the product, and then just seriously, lightly scrub back and forth. And then wipe with the paper towel. And as you can see, it is cleaner already compared to over here. 
a little darker so that is pretty much it like you just gently scrub with the q-tip you might go through a few q-tips but seriously this is so easy so much easier than cleaning the ring that i did earlier all right so now we're gonna smooth out the um the zipper so i'm taking wax paper and i'm just gonna run it back and forth This side is still super smooth, way smoother than this side. So I'm gonna keep their source. Okay, it's so much better. I'm gonna keep running it though. I want it to be like butter. And let's see how this one is. This one's the rough one. Okay, so it's still a little hard it's just this one is literally like butter Let's see that oh so nice so this one is still a little tough but it's better than what it was so i'm just gonna keep doing that a little more maybe so i have finished cleaning the bag i just cleaned some of the hardware not all of it like i didn't do the rings on the handles um all i did was the buttons here so the green is off of them and i didn't work on this either and i just wanted to show you guys what it looks like um you know when you have the two handles secure that's what it looks like and then here's the tag right here i still have to kind of fix how that hangs um, but yeah, overall, I'm so happy with this bag, you guys. Ugh, I'm so happy. You don't even know. Um, here's the strap attached to it. Yeah, I'm so happy. Ah, the zipper looks nice and shiny now after I did that. Also, I forgot to mention that this didn't come with a locking key, which is totally fine with me. Um, I don't plan on like locking it or anything like that, but you totally could, you know. So again, this is what the bag looks like. I am beyond happy with it. I'm so excited. I'm going out of town this weekend, so I might take it with me. I'm not sure. I kind of don't want to travel with it just yet. Um, you know, I want to spray it with the Apple Guard first, and then I want to travel with it because it's been rainy um, all week, so I don't really want to risk it. It doesn't have um, really any watermarks on it, so, you know, I don't... I don't want to get anything on it yet. <laughs> so anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it as a comment down below. I will try and list everything in the description box, all the information you might need. And that's it. I love you guys so much. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And subscribe if you haven't. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!